know, do you know a long time ago when Dr. Seuss, before he started writing books for children, children's books weren't so easy to read for children. <laughs> Grown-ups would have to read them to them all the time. Oh. And Dr. Seuss said, I think books for children should be able to be read by children using simple words that they can learn to read and using rhymes because rhymes are fun and rhymes are an easy way to learn how to read because you can kind of figure out what's coming next, can't you? Because it rhymes. So Dr. Seuss started by writing about me. Me. He wrote a book about me and I think he only used like 50 words in his whole book but he used them over and over again. And it made it fun. And so he wrote about me, the cat in the hat. And people liked it so much, he wrote another one called The Cat in the Hat Comes Back. So if you haven't checked them out sometime, do it. They're fun oh. books. Yes, yeah, see them right there? But then he didn't stop with that. If you look back on these back tables, those are just some of the many what? books Dr. Seuss wrote. Can you point to one that you know you had? I hope you all have at least one Dr. Seuss book in your house. They're so much fun. I want to introduce you to my friend Horton the Elephant. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of Horton the Elephant. I have a book of That was my library book. And have you raised your hand if you've ever seen his movie, Horton Hears a Who? Thank you. I've seen the book. His ears are so big and so good that he can hear the tiniest sound, even the sound of a tiny who down in Whoville on a speck of dust saying, help. help. And he could hear it and he protected them because you know what? A person's a person no matter how small. Well. That's what Horton taught us. And he hatched an egg too because an elephant is faithful 100%. And you know Yertle the Turtle? You know Sneetches with the stars on their bellies? And my most famous friend of all, because they've made more than one movie about him, Grinch. The Grinch. Oh, yeah. The Grinch. You I, know I, the I, Grinch. I, 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 I saw it. Did you know that was Dr. That. Seuss? I know. It was. Okay. Meow. Meow. Thank you. On the windowsill, those books are not written by my friend Dr. Seuss, but they're written by people who love Dr. Seuss in the way that he wrote, and they said, we can write fun books like him too. Raise your hand if you've ever seen Go Dog Go. I have. Hands down. How about Put Me in the Zoo? Isn't that one. famous? How about Are You My Mother? Yeah. Oh, I love that one. So here's the trick to know. When you go to a bookstore or you go to the library and you're looking for a fun book that you might be able to read because you're in kindergarten now and you can sound out words, look for my face. If my face is on it, it's probably a book that you can read. And I know you'll have a good time because I'm all about having fun that is funny, right? Yes. Yes. So look for my picture. Okay. Green eggs and ham. Just raise your hand if you know the story. Good, hands down, because I'm going to need your help in the story, okay? There's going to be times I'm going to need you to tell me what's going on, okay? Well, this is the story, and you know that this is Sam I Am. Say Sam I Am. Sam I Am. And do you know in this whole storybook, it never ever says his name? So I call him... Mr. Grumpy. Uh, his name oh, is Guy. Guy. Not the Grumpy. He's Guy? Yeah. You know yeah. his name, huh? Yeah, his name is Guy. But in comes Sam. He's writing in and he's saying, um, he's got a sign. It says, I am, I am Sam. 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 And he rides right past Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> then he comes back with a new sign. Sam, I am. Sam, I am. Do you think Mr. Grumpy likes being disturbed while he's reading? No. no. He doesn't. Find a seat and sit on your bottom. And he's grumpy. And he's grumpy. Yeah. And he that's says, Sam I am. That's, that's Sam I am. That's Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. <laughs> you don't like that Sam I am. So Sam comes back in and he says, Do you like 
Green eggs and ham? No. What? No. You don't like green eggs and ham. He doesn't like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not no, like green you. eggs and ham. Why? Well, they look weird, right? Yeah. <coughs> but apparently Sam's not listening because Sam says, would you like them here? Or there. Or there. Yeah. Okay. Look how he points. Would you like them here or there? Show me. Yes, dear. I have that book. I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam. Would you like them? Would you like them with a mouse? mouse? I can tell some of you know this story very well. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Would you eat them in a box? Would you? Would you eat them with a box? Fox. Why are you keeping meow? Because meow means I want you to stop and let me talk, okay? And you know. Now let me say this one, okay? Because he's really angry. Ready now? Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse, not here or there, not anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Would you? Could you? Eat with them. Eat them, eat them. Here they are. I would not, could not. In a car. You may like them. You will see. You may like them. In a tree. In a tree. Put the car in the tree like it is. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh -oh. All right. We know this. Well, we can look at it in the story. It's easy. Mrs. Shumsu does. Yeah, Mrs. Shumsu. And cut it. I would not, could not in a tree. Not in a you let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a box. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. See, you guys can read this story afterwards all by yourself. You know it. A train? A train. A train. A train, a train, a train. Would you, could you, on a train? No. Not on a train. Not in a tree. Not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not, in a box. I could not, would not, with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Say. In the dark, here, in the dark, would you, could you, in the dark? I would not, could not, in the dark. <laughs> Can I see? Yeah, here's the picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They went through the tunnel, then that's why you're yeah. That's why it was dark. They went through a tunnel. You're right. Yeah, I know. Would you, could you, in the rain? <laughs>
I would not, could not, in the ring. <laughs> Not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I would not eat them Try something before you tell somebody you don't like it. I I think wait green I I saw green eggs and ham in the, my TV. On your TV, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. I, have, I know it's gonna happen. Me too. I know All right, so Mr. Grumpy is tired of Sam bothering him. Thank so you. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You'll see. <laughs> Is he happy about trying them? No. no. Why is he trying them, Big Chelsea? Guy. So he can leave him alone. So Sam will leave him alone. He's only trying them not because he thinks he might like them. He's, he thinks he's going to hate them, right? He yeah. just wants Sam to leave him alone. So he's going to try them. So he's taking a bite, and guess what? It means I need to change this because all of a sudden he's not Mr. Grumpy anymore. They're happy. Yeah. And give him the green eggs and ham. Say, I, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them on a And I would eat them with a goat. I would eat them. And I will eat them in a Help me. And in the dark and on a train. Oh, we got the dark. Thank you. And in the dark and on a train. And in a car and in a tree. They are so good. So very good, you see. So I will eat them in a box. And I will eat them with a box. And I will eat them in a box. And I will 
eat them with a mouth. And I will eat them here and there. And I will eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. I am. Thank you. So the moral of the story is not only are books fun, but try it. You may like it, right? You should try things, not just food. Try new things. How about let's try a new How about I just Yeah, try something new. Don't try before you try it. How about you can you can try your beads and take your time and try your beads. Try it. That's it. Try it.